Hi guys, so this week is a contest entry for Tatty1907, aka my queen's sister. <laughs> and I did Dahlia from the Tudor England period. Now, the kind of figure that Dahlia is based off of is Catherine Howard. And if you know your Tudor history, you'll know that she was beheaded with an axe on Tower Hill because of her scandalous relationships while still being married to King Henry VIII. Now, I thought this would be perfect because Dahlia is just... She's... She's one of the least liked characters, let's face it. And the fact that I did a picture of Dahlia being sent to the chopping block, it, that was um, that was reason enough to make Dahlia the focus of the theme. So if I didn't do Tudor England, I probably would have done Roman, like Roman Italy. Um around the era of Pompeii, so you know like the the eruption of the volcano, but I decided to do Tudor England because I love the Tudors. Tudors is um, definitely one of my favourite periods of history to learn about because it's so interesting. British history in general I think is probably the most interesting history because the royalty aspect, like it's so interesting to learn about the royalty of the country. So, you may have noticed that the camera angle is a lot different. And this, the reason for this is because one, I did it on the live stream. And two, my cam, like the camera battery was dead. I could not do anything. So I just decided, you know what? I'm going to live stream and use the live stream footage this week. I might alternate weeks where I do different camera angles. Um, some people said that they like this camera angle better. Some people said that they like the normal camera angle better. I'm still undecided. I'm still of a very mixed opinion because yes, I love this camera angle because it shows off how you can do each stroke of the of the pen or whatever material you're using but the other angle is it looks more professional that that's that's what i'm fighting the whole mixed opinion with i'm basically fighting with myself because it's like a very mixed opinion that i have so yeah, please tell me which angle you like better, because I'm still still very, very mixed about it. So as for the materials I used for this picture, I used Spectrum Null Markers. Yes, you can see me use the odd Copic here and there, and you can probably see bags flashing in and out. That's because um, I don't have any marker storage, because my marker storage... Um, broke because it was only a cardboard box and because I don't have any storage anymore I've put them all in bags and they're not even sorted into colour groups and that that is what I found really irritating about this picture is the fact that I had to go swimming in markers as I was saying on the live stream because I dumped all the markers on my bed and I just went swimming through all of them to find the right colour <laughs> And trust me when I say this, I have a lot of markers. This week, I brought a new set of markers and it has 13 in it. Well, 12, because the 13th one is the blender. But, um, yes. That is a lot of markers to go through. And that's Copic's Letra Sets and Spectrum Noirs. Copic Collection, not very big. It's like not even like a 36 marker thing because I I had a 12 set of Copics and then I got three Copics like in a primary color set and yeah I'm going to have to sit down one of these days and actually count all of my markers because I literally have no idea how many I had 
And that was actually one of my mum's questions very, very recently. Just, how many markers do you have? I don't know. So the background I did with watercolour. Now, I don't know what is going on with my watercolour because every time I use it, it's like I create, it's like it's magic coming out of my brush. It's just pure beautifulness. The background, just amazing. Even I was quite surprised at how good the background was turning out. And I was like, I'm probably going to ruin this. I'm going to ruin it. That, that's what I was thinking throughout the seven hours that I spent on this whole picture. So, to finish it off, I actually decided to just put like some darker effects. So I put some multiply over the actual image so you can actually see the change. <laughs> and because I called the original, original picture, but then I just called it Looming Death because that's what I kind of said in yesterday's live stream when I was editing the picture ready for the video. So, yes, Looming Death for Dahlia. Yay! <laughs> Fab is screaming from Portugal, Tatty. Fab is screaming. I can hear him. Time zone goals. Bye, guys.